here's our new dimmer switch. It's got a lot of wires coming around here. What on earth? Let's see, here's the green wire. This green wire is a ground wire, so we're going to hook that up to ground. And if you looked inside that box, we only initially had a, a white wire and a black wire. We don't have a ground wire in there. And, and this is an old, very old house. And we're going to have to decide what to do with that ground wire in a minute. Okay, let's get back to this thing here. We look out of the back, and there's a red wire here, there's a black wire, and there's a red and white wire. See, it has a little stripe on it. Mm. Now, in this particular dimmer, and the dimmer's facing down, up for power, up for high, down for low. Okay. Now this white and red wire, that's for a three-way, so that's kind of slick. You can use this either as a single pole or a three-way, meaning you have one of these. If, if your light fixture gets turned on and off at two different light switches, you can put this in one of the particular light switches at one end of the room and make it a dimmer. Okay? And that's what that red and white wire is for, so we're not even going to use that. Our case, we got a black and a red. These are the two powers. And in the wall, remember we had a white wire and we have a black wire. Now both of those are power in this particular instance. Okay, so the black wire I'm gonna hook up to black and the red wire I'm gonna hook up to the white wire. And incidentally, that white wire should have a black piece of electrical tape around it. And then we would have known that was a power wire. Now if they, in normal, you know, most of the time when I hook up electrical, I usually always come up to the box first with the power, which is a black, white, and a ground wire. And then from there, I go up to the light fixture with a black, white, and ground wire and go up. Then I connect the two white wires together and I got a black wire left coming into the box and I got a black wire going up to the light fixture and then I connect the ground wires together and voila. In this case we don't have that. We got power coming into the box and we got this white wire which is power going out of the box and you saw that little black piece of electrical tape and what I'm going to end up doing is putting electrical tape on this wire. They should, the last electrician should have done a little bit better job on that. Okay and I know that because there's only two wires in here. Okay there's nothing else in that box and on most light switches, you know, you never, on most standard single pole light switches, and on most light sw switches, you don't hook up a white neutral wire to them. You always got a black coming in, a black going out up to the light fixture, okay? So, what are we going to do now? What we're going to do now, you saw the ends. We got curly Q ends on those two wires. And on these, we just got the little end coming up with the tail. Okay, the other ones have a tail too. What we're going to do is we're going to use wire nuts. And in the box, I'm jumping back and forth a little bit, so bear with me. Okay, in this little bag comes some wire nuts, the mounting screws, and that. So I'm going to use some, I'm going to use the yellow wire nuts. I'm going to connect the wires together, but before I do that, I have to get back up in here, don't I? I'm going to take my pliers, and I'm going to gently... Man, they just didn't give me much room, did they? I'm going to twist, I'm going to twist that back and straighten that out. And then, more than likely, I'm going to, I'm going to cut a little bit of that tail piece off. I don't have to strip any more of the wire back, and I'm glad I don't because I don't have much wire coming out of there, right? See how long that that bare copper is on there? It's just a little bit too long. You see? Because I want it to fit underneath my small little wire nut. 
and on here you see how long that's coming out it's not coming out very far all right so I'm going to cut these back just a little bit I've got some little cutters here let's get you back here most of the time I try to get it done better but I'm right up against the wall here okay so I'll cut just the tip of this off ah. cut off a little bit okay I got just about enough right there that's your next step we're getting ready to hook these up but there's something we got to do first before we put wire nuts on there <laughs> 